Okay, so a roadside grazing permit. So there's two different types of permits you can get through us, or oh, well, through me particularly, uh, is a roadside grazing permit and a travelling stock route permit. So they're two completely different permits and two different applications. So you, before with a roadside grazing, you'd go to the Shire and fill out forms with them. They would then contact us to say yes or no, whether you've got approval, then we would contact you and issue a permit. So we've eliminated that and you just come straight to your local LLS office now and fill out a, um, the appropriate um, roadside grazing application for your particular shire. Um, so obviously this one's for Narromine. Um, once you fill that out, um, you'll do that with a uh, animal health statement and you'll also have to provide us with a copy of your public liability, uh, which is 20 million. Um, and once we've got all that information, we will then email all this off to the Shire. And if Shire gives approval, then we give you a call and let you know um, that the approval was given and then we can issue you a permit. Um, so right side grazings are more up laneways or council roadways and things like that. Um, I find the only time that they'll, the council will really reject one of these is if they're doing roadworks or something. So yeah. What about if you've got one place by my days off the road and you've got a big paddle of the sheep down, you've got to have a permit for that? Yep, so there's a, yep, so if you're moving cattle between properties, uh, you can apply for an annual stock movement permit. They're about $22 and uh, they just, uh, you just pay them annually on, with your rates. Um, however, with those permits, it's to move from point A to point B as quickly as possible. You still need to put your signs up. You still need to be in attendance with those cattle or those animals. Um, I see a lot of people that think that they're more for a uh, annual grazing permit, which well, they're not. <laughs> And, and that's the thing, I mean, if you're not in, tenden, in attendance with the stock, if you don't display your signs properly, if you don't have a permit because, um, you know, you will be liable. And I mean, is it really that much of a risk that you want to take to lose everything in just a split second like that? And it can happen.